Hello, everybody. We are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild, and that might be the most intense encounter I have ever had in the Hunter Call of the Wild. That was absolutely insane. Let's turn that collar off for a second because that was crazy. I cannot believe how close we came to dying, but somehow managed to get a shot into her and take her down. It wasn't a pretty shot, but it did the job and it kept us alive. This caller really gives you an opportunity for some pretty crazy encounters. Again, this isn't something that's going to be useful for every situation, but man, it can give you an exciting hunt when you want it to. Now, I think there's a couple things I forgot to mention last video that we did with this caller is that you can actually have one of these per reserve, and I believe you are able to leave them on the reserve and then like exit the map and have it still be there. I could be wrong. We'll probably test that towards the end of this video just to make sure that I'm right, but I'm pretty sure that's what we were told. It's going to be a pretty cool thing to use if you want to have a close-up encounter, a nice bow shot on an animal. It'll definitely be useful for that type of a scenario. And here we go for round two of taking down a lion with the brand new takedown recurve using the brand new electronic collar. We have snuck up to this guy's zone and we are now trying to call him in. We've got a nice little spot that we can sit. We're completely hidden in this bush and it's elevated on a rock as well, which is perfect for this type of a uh, situation. We're going to hope that this thing will come in pretty close and that we can get ourselves a nice little shot into it. So this line is about 36 meters away. I think we can zero to 40 and then aim low, although it's coming a lot closer now. Things are about to get real. It's about 20 away now based on the distance to the collar being 23. And just like that, we have got a shot into it and it is none the wiser that we are here. That is the power of the improvised blind perk. Like the fact that we're completely hidden in this bush and it didn't notice us because of that is amazing. Let's go ahead and pick up the collar real quickly and then we'll head over and grab this lion. This is working out so much better than I expected it to. I really thought that we would have died at least two or three times by now because of how tough it can be to use this, uh, this takedown recurve on a lion. Generally, you will die a lot when hunting lions with a bow. And so I'm just very surprised that we have not died a bunch yet. There is our beautiful lion. Let's take a look at the damage. That is a lot of damage right there. Holy crap. You know, something tells me that if this was a frontal shot, it probably would have gone all the way through this lion. And same with like a Texas art shot. I feel like it would just go all the way through it. We may have to test that in the future, but for now, we're just going to go for as nice of a vital hit as we can get. We're going to try it in an area that we have a stand this time and see if we have a little bit of a better chance to get a good shot. I mean, considering the last one went so well, I don't think we necessarily need the stand. We just need a place to hide, but it's going to be fun to at least try it out. We've got a, a female lion down there that will be perfect to test this out on, provided she comes to the call, obviously. And there she is. There she is right there. Now, I didn't see other lions in the area, but that's not to say that there couldn't be. In fact, yeah, I was wrong. There is another lion in the area. It's out of range of the collar, though. So we're going to have to go for that guy next. Okay, that is about 60 away. I want to try a longer shot and see if this will work right here. And that looked good. It is. It is good. We managed to get that lion. Let's go. We just hit a 60 meter shot with the new takedown recurve. And we've got one more lion coming into the call as well. And we potentially make another 60 meter shot. Let's see. That is looking like it's probably a good hit. And it is. That is another lion going down. Uh, we're going to wait till this other one gets a little bit closer though. Okay, so this one is walking away. Let's turn off the call. And then turn it back on. And see if that gets it back over here. It worked. Okay, so if you alert the animal and it starts to go away from the call, just turn the call off and turn it back on and it seems that it starts attracting them again. That's really good to know because that's very much a scenario that could happen quite often if you're taking multiple animals from one area. Oh my gosh, we got another lion coming over here as well. A male this time. 
We are getting so many lions in this spot right here. For those curious, we're right here near uh, Ku Novella land, or however you would pronounce it. And it seems like this is a really fun spot to do this at. Keep in mind, your map may be a little bit different than mine, but as of now, this is looking like a pretty solid area to lion hunt with the brand new electronic collar. Okay, this one is 40 away. Let's see if we can hit a 40 meter shot. Shouldn't be too difficult considering we just hit two 60s in a row. And that's probably good. Yeah, it's a good shot. Now we just got to take down this male over here. And he's not even alerted or attentive or anything at the moment. So he was far enough away when we took that shot, thankfully. All right, 60 meters. This should be good enough. We've been making shots at 60 meters all day. And that might have been slightly high. No, it's not. He's going down. Okay, perfect. Man, we are just hitting shot after shot after shot today with the takedown recurve and the brand new electronic collar. That is amazing. And since these guys are spooking, just uh, drop a shot into him. Second shot hit him pretty good, and he's going down. Beautiful. If I'm being honest, I really don't know what has been more fun. Taking down these lions here on Verhonga with the collar and the bow, or that hunt that we did on Mississippi the other day. I feel like the Mississippi hunt was a little bit more fun for me because we were hunting a variety of different species, and we managed to take down a diamond gator. But this has still been a really enjoyable experience, just... I feel like Mississippi is the perfect map for this style of hunt. It's super brushy and tough to hunt normally, so having that collar really helps on a map like Mississippi. It seems that it helps with lion hunting, but you could just as easily take out a more long-range rifle and just hunt all these lions in their drink zones. So, I wouldn't say you're going to have any advantage hunting lions this way, but it can give you a really exciting experience, and if you're a bow hunter, this will give you an opportunity to get some really good shots on them. There is that male lion. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. 41.36, we got it from 59 meters. A perfect little double lung shot. This thing is really, really good at hitting exactly where you aim from what I've seen. This is pretty much exactly where I was aiming at and it hit it right there. Penetrated both lungs. And I imagine even if this was a weird angle, we probably would have gotten to the vitals. It seems like it's a pretty reliable bow to go with. Though, again, it's very similar to a lot of the bows we already have, so it's really up to you as to whether or not you want to use it. It's something different, it gives you options most traditional bows don't, but it's not necessarily a necessity item. But anyway guys, this was just a quick video taking a look at the lion hunting with the brand new collar as well as the brand new takedown recurve. Let me know what you thought in the comments. Is there any other animal you would like me to go after with these new items? Or is there like a specific map you want me to go to and just hunt everything that I can? Let me know in the comments, and as always, if you're new to the channel and you appreciate the work that goes into making basically daily content, consider subscribing to the channel as well as hitting that notification bell. And I will see you all in the next one. Peace!